Hello and welcome to another The Church at Erith. The verse that we're going to look at and focus on in this particular online service is from the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3. It tells us, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. I'm into old movies. I also watch more modern ones as well, especially at this time of the year. Christmas films, they're great, aren't they? I watched one this week with my wife and in it, it's a typical Christmas movie. You know exactly where they're going. The Hallmark type films, you know where they're going, you know what it's all about, but you still enjoy them and get a lot from them. And in typical style, this particular one featured a lady who lived and worked in the city and moved out into the countryside for a few days, small town America. She found out her boyfriend was cheating on her and he wasn't very nice at all. While she moves, she meets another man and a totally different scenario. And she helps him to save and rescue an arts centre and the old boyfriend tries to win her back and he is involved in a, a shady deal, tries to get the arts centre for himself and his business and they have this conversation and he says to her when she finds out that he was him behind buying the arts centre, he said, it's all about business and she replies, no, it's all about people and then again typical stereotypical Christmas movie theme she ends up finding true love with the new boyfriend and it all ends up happily ever after but it was that exchange that really caught my attention it's all about business no it's all about people and there's always a moral with this type of Christ, uh, Christian Christ, Christmas themes it is a Christian theme of course and as we've read there from the book of Philippians do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit but in humility consider others better than yourselves that's the moral isn't it don't think it's all about business think it's all about people Stuart's quite a new convert to them, but I've been watching him for many years. But I've always loved the, the moral values that they have. Where they always choose to be better for people than to, to make the money and make business. It's always a good way to go. We're going to sing We Will Magnify today. This is a favourite of Stuart's, I will say. correct it is one of my favorite songs back to the verse again Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit but in humility consider others better than yourselves I work in football my favorite competition is the Welsh Cup it goes back to when I was a child so I've loved that competition for many many years and this week the New Saints played 
in the Welsh Cup and beat Llangollen Town 16-0. Yes, you heard that right, 16-0. And obviously, that was an emphatic victory. But following the game, in the interviews that I did, and also the post-match article as well, you can't get away from the fact that it was 16-0. You can't hide it or somehow disguise that or take a few goals off. It was 16-0. But nevertheless, you recognise that you must have humility in situations like that. Working in football, as I have done for many years now, you see situations and circumstances where teams win and they behave like they've won the World Cup. You see individuals who use that victory to rub the nose of the opponents in it. And it never works. It always backfires because the next game you play you lose and you make yourself look silly don't you well for me it is about humility it is about respecting the emotions of the opponent and you've won of course you're happy of course you won and you want to win and you move on to the next round but always it's about humility and in the context of the the first illustration that I used, the it's all about business, isn't it? No, it's about people conversation that took place in the movie. The same thing in football as well. Accept the victories with grace because you never know when you're on the end of a big defeat yourself either, do you? It's a great life principle, isn't it? To yes, Try to win, strive to win, be as, as good as you possibly can. You get people on the internet afterwards, especially in Welsh football, really angry because TNS has won and they somehow expect the New Saints maybe to have taken the foot off the gas when it was possibly four or five nil. But individual players, they're playing for their places, aren't they? They're playing for the next game, which actually is a massive one for the New Saints. They want to give 100% in every game that they play. And if that means they win 16-0, then that's so be it. You can't expect players to take the foot off the gas just because they've taken a lead in a game. But what you can expect is humility. And I can say that from being around the New Saints players, being around the staff, being around the club, that that most certainly is the case. No one makes a big meal of it. We won 16-0. It's a great scoreline, but we always keep our feet firmly on the ground and remain humble as we look forward to the, the next game, which actually is a, a big one. It's a starner in the Conference League. That will be a challenge in itself, of course. Great principles that we've looked at today whether it's the movie, all about business, no, it's all about people, or the illustration from football, be humble and consider, as it tells us in the verse there, consider others better than yourselves. Wonderful wisdom in the word of God, isn't there? Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in Humility, consider others better than yourselves.
We hope that you've enjoyed our online service today. Some great principles, as I've already said there, for all of us to take on board, to apply into our lives. It's not easy, is it, to put other people first? But the great thing is that when we do, it works for us. God's economy is not like man's. When we do what the scripture tells us, it works, even though to the natural mind, it might not seem possible or feasible. It works. Have a great week and we'll see you next Sunday.